all about nausea and vomiting during pregnancy and how sometimes it can be morning sickness and sometimes it can be all day sickness. Um, either way, it's not fun. There's a lot of different things you can try. I'm going to give you uh, several different options. They may work for you and I hope they do and they may not and we'll talk about what to do if some of these things don't work for you. So one of the first options and things that you can try is before you even get out of bed, keep some crackers and water at your bedside. Try taking a couple of crackers in and some water before you get up um, and see if you're able to hold that down. Um, if it's just nausea, you should be able to. If you are having some vomiting with it, um, you know, just kind of see you may be able to then go on with the rest of your day. Um, but sometimes that can help just for in the morning a couple crackers before you get your day started. Other things that you can try are some ginger candies. There's a lot of different pregnancy companies out there that make different types of ginger candies. Um, you can also get them at your local grocery store, um, but ginger is known to help with nausea and vomiting and with your um, stomach. So trying ginger candies can help. Other things you can do, try, um, nowadays we have different kinds of prenatal pills. So rather than taking the big ones that are big, like horse pills, like the big ones, you can try taking some of like the gummies. Uh, sometimes those uh, do a little bit better because it's not that big pill that you're swallowing and then can kind of make you gag a little bit, it might make you a little nauseous or create some vomiting. So sometimes gummies can help. There's different kinds of teas out there. There's pregnancy teas that you can find, um, a lot of them online. Find some in the stores too that can help with um, some digestive issues. So you can try different types of teas. You can try essential oils. Those work as well. Um, my favorites are lemon and orange because it just smells so fresh. Uh, so you can try putting those in a diffuser and just kind of um, having those throughout the house, um, keeping yours in the bedroom. Sometimes it's best to keep it in the kitchen so that um, if you are cooking, you can kind of get rid of some of those smells and having the fresh lemon and orange. If you're really having troubles with vomiting and not able to keep things down, you might try putting some uh, different types of sports drinks into an ice cube tray and then just kind of sucking on one of those so that you're still getting some nutrients there, some electrolytes, if you're unable to hold things down and you're vomiting a lot. If none of these things are working for you and you're still having a lot of nausea and vomiting and it's causing you trouble in your work and in your daily life, it may be something that you want to discuss with your doctor. There are different kinds of medications that they can give you, uh, different things that will work, but of course you want to try other home remedies first. If these things will work for you, then let's avoid medications if we can. However, just know that if um, it persists for a while and especially if it's affecting your daily life it may be something that you want to talk to your doctor about and let them know because it is important that you are able to eat and hold down nutrients for the baby so that the baby can continue to grow healthy and strong. I hope some of those options help you guys and um, if not please make sure you contact your doctor. Uh, he or she may have a couple other options for you or they may recommend some medications for you. So thanks for watching guys and until next time I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye. Have a good day.